Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading that is destined for the 21st of September 2020 and it is for the beautiful sign of Libra. Well, that being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you feel as though it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't quite make sense, it's okay, it's a general reading, just leave it aside. If ever you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, maybe you don't believe the person who's in your life who told you something, or you have the cold shoulder, you're just not getting any information, Whichever your situation is, if you're looking for answers, please do contact me so I can um, help you find those answers. So you can help me once again at Romanceful. Um, you can find me and um, so I can help you at romancefultarot at gmail.com. You can find all of my information into the YouTube Dropbox. Now, um, before we do begin, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click on the subscribe button to show your support to yourself and uh, to, to myself and to the channel. And I do thank you so very much. I am saying some silly things. So that being said, um, let's begin this reading. So this reading here, I've done one a few days ago onto the blind spot and it was really, really appreciated. So I'm doing another one, but with a different, slightly different topic. This time it's always the blind spot, so it's always that part of the unconscious that we're just not really able to, to tap into. And um, along with that, um, I am going to, um, well, the blind spot itself is going to be, uh, the title is all about your true needs. So this is what I'm going to be looking for. And uh, after I'm going to be looking at a power of love um, activation card. So we're going to go for a little bit of a message of James Van Prague after. So enough babbling on my behalf and let's just begin this reading. So let's begin with the, um, with the blind spot. So this is your sigil for the day. And uh, this is all about a shape shifter. So you want the truth of yourself and potentially the truth of the situation at hand to exist in your own blind spot and, or maybe even others' blind spots, permanently. You do not want that truth to be seen by you or by them. You could consider the sigil to be the master of blind spots because even if you are consulting this deck, the truth is you want to maintain blind spots in your life and or others. You may say, you want to see yourself and you want to be seen by others, but the part that is currently in control of your thoughts, your words, your actions, does not want neither. Your motives for using this deck is not to see the truth in this situation and not to see the truth of yourself. You are so used to being able to get yourself and other people to focus on whatever you want yourself or them to focus on instead of whatever you don't want yourself or them to see and focus on. That you were hoping that this deck would play right into your strategy. Your hope was that you would maybe draw a sigil that would act as a diversion for what you don't want to focus on about yourself. Or that you would draw a sigil that would get people that you to focus their own blind spots instead of yours. You feel it in your best interest to have others focusing on their surroundings, on their shortcomings, blind spots, ignorance, and problems instead of your own. Now, whenever you draw this sigil, you need to think back to the character Mystique, let's say from the X-Men. You need to think about both the power and the level of safety that the character holds, because this is what you actually want. To you, when something is clearly seen, it is no longer and has no longer control and you can no longer tell yourself that an unsavory truth may not be the truth, that the potential can always stay open, that the truth is something much, that the truth is something much more comfortable for your ego. Now you can enjoy having the pinned down by the truth, so you choose confusion. You may 
be creating confusion in other people so that you can deflect the focus back onto them and make them doubt themselves and their own sanity. You are probably gaslighting people as well. Now, when you get this card, you hate the solid nature of truth. You think that when other people know the truth, it will give them the upper hand. And as it applies to yourself, you, okay, hate when all of your knows the truth about yourself because you feel that the part of you, the internal moderator, which is self-shaming and self-abusive and keeps on a short leash, demands difficult change. And it will now have the truth it needs to convict you and force you under control. When other people know the truth and when you know the truth about yourself, it feels like a death sentence to you. Now, you might enjoy being able to turn into whatever you want to, whenever it suits you to, and to convince others, and potentially even yourself, that you are actually that thing. You may be skilled, a, so, a skilled social actor, the ultimate chameleon. Your attitude may be that you don't care how you get something as long as you get it. You may want to stay away and get away with things and never be found out and never be found again. You are so good at stuffing yourself into your own blind spot and living your life into other people's blind spots that you may have even fooled yourself. You may be letting go of your sense of self and the truth of self in a way that has nothing to do with the practice of transcending and beyond. Now, what you don't see is that when people ask you a question, or when you ask yourself a question, you are not looking to answer the truth. You are looking to answer in whatever way provides the greatest personal benefits at the time. Chances are you are so good at doing this if you do answer truthfully. It is only after you have decided that doing so gives you the greatest personal belief at that time. Such as answering truthfully at this time will make them see as good and trustworthy person which is what I want right now. So this is your blind spot, okay? I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to be able to apply it. I'm going to move over now to the power of love and go see what is being held over there. The power of love is all about trust. So you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and faith in your intuition. When you listen to your soul's voice, you will never go down a path not meant for you, but you must learn to trust that voice. By honoring the sacred knowledge within you and acting on it, you can manifest great miracles in your life. Your intuition yearns to be heard and every day you are giving opportunities Okay, to to test your trust in it. And as you go through your human journey, pay attention to each instance the voice arises. Notice its significance and don't necessarily dismiss it as a coincidence. Begin to perceive yourself as part of the flow of life with an ever expanding part in it. As conflicts and challenges come up, recognize these obstacles and opportunities. The more you accept your inner voice, as trustworthy, the easier life becomes. Unfortunately, there are many things in this dimension that you cannot trust. Some people and sometimes even your own eyes. But no matter what, you can always trust your intuition. So this was your card on intuition. I do hope that you enjoyed the reading. I do hope that you're going to try to apply it. If you do have any questions, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings. And I do wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there. I'll see you soon.